At this point, we're going to review the calibration procedures for using Video Image Express. So in order to calibrate the system, the first thing you want to do is get a known standard of some type, either inches or millimeters, uh, a glass scale or a gauge block, or any uh, artifact of known size would be fine, and place that underneath your microscope or your video system. Now, uh, once you have that known standard underneath the scope, you would then use the measurement tools up here to choose, so I left click on the measurement icon and then I right click to choose the, the tool that I want to calibrate with. Now you can only calibrate with drag tools, you cannot use click tools. So in this particular example I'll use the line with guides tool and that will allow me to place the left edge on that side and I can then left click and then rubber band that across and you want to calibrate across the widest field of view possible. So based on what your magnification and field of view is you would set those two lines at that distance. Now we're at low mag here. Um, if you have a system with zoom or detents where there are repeatable positions we can then store those calibrations in each repeatable position. So once we've done this, we can uh, take a look and then you come down here and click where the wireframe is down at the bottom, the CAL setting. So I left click on that and I can choose the calibrate selection. So you have up to, I believe it's 16 calibrations available. We'll do the first one which could be our lowest mag. We can give that a label name that we want. This could be 0.8x or uh, whatever name you want to give it. Then you define if this is in inches or millimeters. So in our particular case, we're, uh, we have an inches known standard, so we put that in inches. We can define how many decimal places we want displayed. So we'll say, uh, we'll say four. And then what we can do is choose to either calibrate by X and Y or calibrate by length. So in this particular case, we're going to calibrate by length. And we're going to put that this is 0.6 inches. Say OK. And you'll see that the numbers up here have changed to 0.6000 inches. So calibration number one is now stored that's the name of it and it's calibrated for this particular pixel size or magnification. Next you may want to uh, calibrate at a different magnification. So you can set up your scale and zoom to whatever magnification you're going to use. Again click the left mouse to get the measurement tools and click the right mouse to bring up the menu. In this case, we're going to use a tool called the perpendicular to line. So this allows us to start by holding down the left mouse and drawing a straight line along our axis. And then it's going to give us a, an ability to stretch out a perpendicular line uh, to the point that we want to take. So we left click again there. And we have it now set up for 0.1 inches. So again, we come down to the wireframe and we click on calibrate because we're doing a new calibration. So this will be calibration number two and it's our CMO scope, but this is set at 3.0x, which we can type in there. It's in inches or millimeters. Now, if you are calibrating in millimeters, you'll have a separate calibration in inches or millimeters. So sometimes, um, if you're switching between inches and millimeters, you want to have separate calibrations for inches and millimeters. So you might have a 3.0 settings in inches and a 3.0 setting in millimeters. And we can define how many decimals again we want here. We can then um, tell it the known size, which is 0.1 inches. say OK. 
and you'll see that the perpendicular length dimension is now at one inches. So when we go to measure, we can measure across uh, any dimension that we want and get that reading. And you see as I stretch this tool out, it gives me a live dynamic reading of the dimension. Now, if we want to change the colors, let's choose the drag tool where line with guides we have the outside lines are blue, the inner line is red, but we might want that to be a different color. So we can go down to the wireframe, click on set colors, and you'll notice that crosshair marker number one is red, crosshair marker number two is blue, and the text is red. So we can change any one of these. We can make the text green if we want and change the red or blue if we want and choose this text size as well of what text font we want what size and line width whether you want it one pixel or more so here's a case where the line is red uh, text is green and we can make those settings accordingly